So today I'm doing a little DIY. It looks like the switch here on my space heater slash fake fireplace went out. So I'm gonna go to the store and get a new one and replace it. I think it looks like there might've been an amperage spike. It looks like it burnt a little bit. So I'm gonna try a new switch and we can see if we can get this bad boy, you know, up and running again. So it looks like it's just uh, three spade connectors here. I've unplugged it to make sure that I don't get shocked. All right, it's on a little tight, so I don't want to damage it by pulling it too hard with my hands. So I'm gonna try a pliers to get it dislodged. Cause like if you break it, thing is you're gonna be uh, splicing some wire together. So try to avoid that if possible. All right, now that I've gotten my spade connectors released, I don't really care about this switch. Um, just trying not to damage the uh, body of the uh, of the unit here. The switch I can uh, I can pretty much wreck it because this switch is no good. It's not working. I actually feel it looks like the rocker has uh, has died. It's not making connection here. So I'm just gonna pry my switch out. There we go. And you can see this one's got this is a three pronged rocker switch. Um, it doesn't connect anymore. So I'm gonna go to the store and get a new one. And let's see if we can save this thing. We're here at the store, and that's our switch. Just a three-prong on-off rocker switch uh, that we'll use to replace it. Actually, check here too if it tells us the. Uh, yep. So it'll tell us here that this is rated 220 to 250 volts, which matches our switch here. So this is what we need. Okay, so now that we're back home, the important thing to do is orientate the switch before we put it in. So it comes with a little diagram uh, here, right, with positions on the switch. You know, three being on, two being neutral, and one being off, right? So what I can do is find on the switch. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that in the video, right? Um, so I know that three, this is the on position. So I know with this one facing down is what turns it on. So, I'm gonna now feed this through the hole. I might have to cram it in there just a little bit if it doesn't fit, but this should do the trick. I may have to come back to you guys once I've fit it through. It's the same switch as the other one here, so I know it does fit. This just might take uh, two hands here to get it through. I might have to yank it through on the other side with my pliers too. Or just middle this down a little bit. I'll be right back once I've gotten it through. Okay, so I've got my switch through now. Now it's time to start reconnecting our wiring, which is a good thing that I took a picture of before I put it back together. Now, I have a little problem here. This fell out of the uh, wire harness on the other switch, so I'm gonna actually have to put this back together before I can uh, put this back, before I can start putting this back. Hopefully, too, I didn't destroy the spades too badly. This one was on here, and this one was connecting this to here. I do remember that. And then this was the on switch, which leads into, this goes on to the uh, on position because it leads into this potentiometer on the, on the front to adjust the heat. So let's see if I can, okay, that actually snapped into place, okay. So what's gonna be tough is this middle one right here. This may be an issue. So I'm gonna put, first I'm gonna try to get the spade on. If this doesn't work, I do have spade connectors. Okay, it did work. Now I'm just gonna I'm gonna retwist that. Let me go get my crimper actually. That should help. I'm gonna put you into here. Yeah. Sometimes it helps to just twist that a little a little thinner. 
I might have to replace that uh, that terminal, guys, if this doesn't work. So. You do want to make sure, as I said, that you check the front first, because uh, you don't want to reverse the polarity, because then it won't work and you might blow your switch. So, not good when that happens. I'm gonna find a way to make this fit into here. I don't have to take this one off. Guys, I'm gonna stop the video here, because this is again gonna be a, uh, a multi-handed job. I'm gonna have to take this spade off and uh, get it in and uh, put it on to the uh, on-off switch. I'll, so I'll be right back. This is the heat switch that I'm fixing, which is in the circuit after the on-off switch. All right, so two things that I recommend you always have um, at home. This is wire stripper and crimper. Very easy, 10 bucks at any hardware store. Makes electrical work very easy. And, um, you know, all purpose spade connectors like this, right? Um, so what I'm gonna do, there's my positive and negative here. I'm gonna take it out of the previous spade that I had it in. And I'm just gonna take my, uh, take my wire stripper here and kind of just flatten that down, okay? As a reminder, and I don't think I have to remind you guys this, you know, always, <laughs> always, Make sure that you've unplugged whatever electronic you're working on. And if it has a capacitor, discharge that capacitor before attempting to do anything like this, right? So now that I've got that, I'm gonna take my spade here. Oh, this one might have been crimped already, actually. Hold on, I'm going to my kit. I'll be right back. got a fresh one right here so I'm gonna feed these wires that I just put together into my spade here and I take the uh, the crimping part and I'm gonna just take it and crimp it together okay there we go those wires are back in and that spade will go right into here damn it there we go okay so now that that's back together comes the million dollar question will it work so let's plug it back in before I put this all back together I'm gonna plug this back in and we're gonna see if this will turn on. All right, I went back in. One of the spades was a little loose. I also flipped the switch around and there we go, guys. We've got hot air coming out. The lights are working. And my $200 space heater slash fake fireplace has been saved for about a $10 switch and a $15 of my time. So when stuff like this starts to uh, starts to go, you know, sometimes it's just a it's just a quick little fix. Ah, yeah, that's that's, that's nice. That heats the place. That heats the room nice and good. So, um, yeah, you know, like DIY definitely saves uh, saves some time and uh, definitely money. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put this back together, and we're about done here. here and we'll be just about done okay that's done let's flip this
Ain't that a beaut? It's going. We got the heat going. And more importantly, I saved, you know, about 190 bucks by taking the time to do that. So, again, um, guys, I'm not an electrician and this is not electrical uh, advice. But, uh, you know, just a quick uh, walkthrough. If, like, switches on your home electronics go uh, go bad, just a quick walkthrough on, uh, you know, how to replace a, uh, a rogue switch. And, uh, yeah, some quick DIY today. See you guys next time.